Welcome to Scrapbooking Beautiful Layouts by Lockie Creations. Hi crafty friends, it's Lockie Creations. Back to share with you how I created three layouts using floral themes just in time for spring. So today I have a little visitor in my scrap room. And as you can see, he's not very happy, so my videos may have to wait until someone decides to take a nap. Hi, friends. So the baby is napping. And I'm going to just do a quick flip through of a couple of layouts that I've done. By the way, this is this little guy. He's gotten so big, isn't he? I literally just did this video, and of course... I did it like last month and he was already two months old at that point. So now he's three, almost four. Yeah, going to four months old. So this was actually the day after he was born. So anyway, this is the little baby that you're seeing. Okay, so real quick before the baby wakes up. So that's why I'm talking so low because I'm doing double duty babysitting. So today I want to talk about, just I'm going to share two layouts that I recently did and I'm going to talk about my process for these three. So I'm going to try to not make this be too long. So here's my first layout that I'm going to talk about. In this layout, I love the way this turned out. I think it turned out beautifully. And I love this so much, I'm probably going to really soon scrap lift this myself but this layout was actually something that I did just I just kind of you know I saw these stamps and I saw my distress oxides and I just kind of started creating and like I did this so fast but it turned out so beautiful so beautiful I love this layout so this layout features a picture of my daughter who is on a lot of my uh, videos but in this particular photo this was I believe this one was like right at the start of the pandemic I can't remember if she had transitioned from high school no judging by the hair I think she was still technically high school then I think this was before she she was a 2020 graduate high school graduate so you know that whole graduation year graduations getting canceled and um college being started at home online for the first year everything's a blur so this was sometime during that time frame but she was doing homework i can't remember if this is college or you know i should have probably i can go back and look on my phone and figure it out but Anyway, this was a school picture. She was either doing finishing up high school classes or starting college classes. I'll figure all of that out. Oh, actually, I put 2020. I did go back and do that. So if I would have read my journaling, I would have realized that. Anywho, um, so the smile in was the title because, you know, that was during a time that was just so... And we're still in that time. It's not like that time is over, but, you know, the beginning of it was just really really weird and uncertain so anyway that was what the photo is all about and the journaling so i got this this little pocket and i'm gonna just zoom in real quick on that i should know she don't want me to probably zoom in on her picture so let's just do that this little pocket card oh this was just so beautiful i bought this recently from amazon i ordered it and I'll show you the little set. Oh, ooh, ooh, I, start. <laughs> I didn't realize I didn't have it upside down. But it's a set of the dies, and it has the the internal die, so you could get that border, like the pink border around it. It has the pencil. Ugh, it has the word smile and the word hello and these flowers and. I think some of my flowers might have fallen out because I didn't realize this was upside down. But anyway, you know, beautiful set. So anyway, that was the set. I used it, got it from Amazon. And I actually love this, um, this particular 
company who sold this, I think it's ZF Party or something. I'll, I'll put the link, the name in the description. They have some really cute die cuts on Amazon and they weren't all that terribly expensive. I think this one was around maybe $6.99, $7.99, something like that. So anyway, very pretty, but I, I love the way that this turned out. And I have a couple still shots, but one of the things that impressed me is like, Look, you can actually put stuff in there. Now, I have a little uh, pop dot, adhesive dot right there just to kind of pop it up. But you can actually put stuff in there. So, in the pencil, look at the cute little pencil. Again, I'm showing her picture. Oh, she's going to be mad at mama. But, you know, she knows her mama's a crafter. But anyway, like, look at that cute little pencil. And so, because I did my journaling in that blue fun I made my pencil in with blue ink so I tried to be very intentional with that but oh I just thought that was so beautiful okay so, so let's talk about this layout so this layout I have a paper pack that I used initially to start some of the embellishments um and you know I so how my layout started I I just started out with I saw these stamps and I don't have all the products pulled out, so um, unfortunately I'm not going to spend time going and grab, trying to find all the products. But first thing that I did, I was inspired by these flowers, and I think I have some still shots that I'll show. So the fl I saw the flowers, and so I just literally with my Distress Oxides and my Distress Oxides... Distress ink. I just kind of in a in a uh, acrylic stamp. I just stamped those flowers in the background that you see there, and these are the two main colors that I use. I use the uh, Tim Holtz Ranger. This is a real old one, so I can fire brick, fire brick, something like that. This is an old one that I've had. This one is one that I recently purchased, the Broken China. But I also, in addition to those. You know, I, I used some some that I got from I think Joanne's and I you know I've been organizing my inks. My I got goodness gracious, what's going on here? I got more of them. Than, I've been trying to organize. I got more than what fit in here, but and these are ones that I just recently ordered. So yeah, I'm kinda going crazy. But I used some of these that came from uh this Craft Smart. I think these were Joanne. So I used some of those too. I just wanted to kind of show that. Now I got to go reorganize my whole little bin. And so anyway, I got those ink pads and I, I color stamped those flowers, watercolor. So what I did was I got my packaging, those ink pads, and my, paint, my little paintbrush and water. And I put the dip, put some of the water on the packaging with the ink, and I, with my ink block and my stamp, I watercolored my stamp, and I, I watercolor stamped those flowers. Is what I'm all of that to try to say. So those flowers that you see in the background, I did them in all sections. I watercolor stamped those, and they. That was my inspiration initially. I just started just stamping watercolor flowers all over a plain white piece of cardstock. And that was so beautiful. And so then after I did that, I actually got... What did I use for... for oh, I, I used another ink pad. I was just like using stuff to repurpose stuff. So this is another... This is a Studio G ink pad. I, I literally got with that... I can't remember if this is the Broken China or I think this was actually one of the other brands, the ink. But I basically just like did this and I used this to just smudge that ink around to create these circles that you kind of see. So I did a mixed media with this. I you just used the top of this ink pad to just smudge the ink in with those circles and I think that turned out pretty. So that was step number two for my mixed media background. Well, then, as you can, hopefully let me hold it up here, you can see, I have these uh, stenciled, and this is a very pretty stencil, but I just stenciled these, just lines randomly across the page, 
and just white uh, texture paste, the, te the Ranger texture paste, okay? The stencil that I use, I have it in here. Probably should have pulled out all my products. That's the only thing about when you record stuff and then you go back later to try to do the video. I don't remember everything I use. Oh, okay, I, I remember it now. I actually use the Dollar Tree stencil. You guys are not going to believe it. The stencil that I use, it came from Dollar Tree. Now I remember. And I was like so impressed because it had these pretty butterflies. And I, of course I didn't put it back in its right spot. Whoever does that, right? Never put stuff back. It's around here somewhere. I've got like a stash of products in my whip working process. So anyway, I'll see if I can find it maybe, but I don't want to take the time away from this video. But anyway, that was a Dollar Tree stencil. It's a stencil that had butterflies and it was blue. It was a dark blue stencil and it had like butterflies on it. But it had that pretty little this pretty little line there and I just I thought that was so beautiful like that turned out so pretty I love the way that those so I just did some of those over the flowers just to give it some interest okay I was like getting super creative with this layout like so then okay I ordered some stickers from Amazon you know recently and one I, one of the pages the next one I'm going to do is of the strawberry festival but in the strawberry festival package, there was some of these little light pinkish colored flowers. Kind of hard to see them here, but I just edged, distressed them with the red. Um, put some of those on there. And these flowers here, um, I use a combination of acrylic stamps as well as hard stamps that I have. And I, I have a bunch of bins where I keep all my products. Okay, so everything's in a bin. So here's my hard stamps bin. So for these flowers, I used this stamp. This stamp is a Recollections stamp and don't have wood stamp. As Ella says, can't find the name of it. Beautiful stamp. I love this rose. Like this is beautiful rose. So I stamped that a few times, watercolored it, used some alcohol marker. That's what created all these pink. And red color roses okay so I use this stamp as well as a stamp that probably can't get to there anyway again I cleaned up after so everything's like all over the place but my acrylic stamps or my yeah acrylic and polymer stamps I have a bunch of stamps I can't find the one that I use at that this moment but I used other flowers. I think it was from this set here that was a, I think this was a Michael set. I'm pretty sure this was a set from Michael. Yeah. So, the, okay. So, yeah, this is the set that I use. And I don't have the, okay, Craft Smart Clear Stamps. That's all it says. But it's these steps that have like these multiple ones. I think this I just insert from something else. Did I use this? One? Oh yeah, I used this one on the page to get this create the tag and I just stamped create from another stamp set that I have. Um, I used didn't I use this one somewhere or was this a different layout? I think that's a different layout that I used that one. Okay, anywho. So, I for the initial, I'm going to take this out just to be able to see it a little bit closer up. For the initial flowers, those little watercolor flowers that I'm talking about that I did all over. So I used this, this uh, section of those stamps. And so this is the main flower that created these. All those beautiful watercolor flowers. Oh, and I think this is the one that created these flowers. I just watercolored them and again with watercolor and alcohol. So those are the stamps. I think I might have used that one. Can't remember, but primarily this. this so this is the set that I used to develop those beautiful flowers in the background. 
then that hard stamp that I showed previously to do plus this one to do all the flowers so all the flowers were stamps that I stamped colored and fussy cut out Whew, that was a lot okay so next with this layout what I did was I I'm, I'm already talking about how I made the file folder which I absolutely adore there's another stamp in here oh so these so these little doodly dads here are just pattern paper that I took my edge of my paintbrush and rolled up the paper to almost get like these little straws or curls but I thought they were, I don't know where that popped up in my brain but I just thought it was pretty oh baby's waking up I'm talking too loud sorry baby's waking up okay so I um yeah I I just took literally my paintbrush which is I put everything up so it's hard to kind of show you kind of my creation process because everything's been placed and been put up now but yeah that's what I did in the I used the paper pack again one that I purchased which I'm pretty much have used a great deal of that particular paper pack that I used for that one but it was really it's a pretty pack that let's see oh this one here this is a Park Lane, so I guess that came from what Joann's. I'm starting to kind of realize which stores sell which products. I love, love, love this this pack. So this is Park Lane's Blooms de Fleur. I uh, purchased this, I think, 2020 or 2021. But I just absolutely love it. You can just look at all those papers. Like, just beautiful. So, I've used probably a lot of the papers that are in here. But, oh, I just love it. But the ones that I use for those straws are this one. The one that looks like this flower. I use this one. You can kind of see over. Kind of hard to see. This one is this. Um, oh, for the hot pink is a different pack. It's the pack that... I got from Walmart that looks like ocean. Um, it's around here somewhere. I'll find it. But those are the main papers that I use. So yeah, I just curled those papers up and I thought that turned out really cute. But I, I just love this paper stack. Like there's just so many pretty papers. Like this one. This one I used on something recently. I think maybe one of the other ones that I'm going to talk about here in a bit. But, okay, so let me move on because I got a lot, lot to do, a lot to do, a lot to share. So, anyway, this, I just, I just love the way that this turned out. I just, I just, this is just beautiful. And, oh, one other thing that I used up here, you see in the top, and it may be hard to kind of see it, but I, from that same stamp set that I just shared a little while ago, so I got a silver and a gold. I bought this because it had this got from Amazon. Um, it had the white, silver, and gold. Like I have a whole bunch of ink as you can see, but I didn't have white, silver, and gold, so I bought that. And I so I used this silver. And this is a I can't tell the name of that. I don't know if it's a man or whatever. It's a it's a ink pad, this one. <laughs> it's Zora Art, finger paint, whatever that i use that so i used that and i used another rubber stamp set that i got from amazon and i think this one there this one is actually a popular brand i just can't remember which brand it is i'm sorry baby hold on with me sorry. probably not gonna have to do this in a couple rounds because the baby's waking um but i i have a stamp set that has these it's the stitch effect it makes it look like you're you're using a stitch oh you drank all your bottle no wonder okay let's take a take a pause to burp the baby okay so now that the baby is back resting just being a good little baby like he is so i'm not gonna take time to try to find the stamp sorry i'm not prepared enough i'll try to 
like put on my list all the products and everything. So but anyway, it's this. Oh my gosh, what was that? The neighbor's dogs are going crazy. Anyway, um, it's a stamp. This is a stamp that it gives the illusion of stitching. So I, with that silver metallic ink pad, I just added that detail. Okay. Oh, and then I just did some three, four dimension, whatever. Down here, this one, I'm just cover, covering up a boo-boo. So yeah. So this is this first page. And this one, I just literally did this. I just one night after work, after I just kind of needed some stress relief. I just literally just start pulling out the stuff and I literally did this in under an hour. Yeah. I think I did most of it. I didn't even know like what picture. When I say under an hour, the mixed media background, the like creating the die cuts and like starting to lay out the layout. I didn't even know what picture I was going to use. I just kind of start making something. And then I went through my photos and I saw this one and I'm like, this is perfect. And with the smile title. So anyway, this page is about smiling through adversity. Okay. The next page that I'm going to show, I actually did this one last night. I, I just threw this together last night, like threw it together. When I say threw it together, like, yeah, this one probably may have took under, it was under an hour because I just wanted to craft, just, I was sleepy, falling asleep, I was tired, had a long work day, but I was like, I'm determined to make something, so yeah. And so this, these photos pick, these photos are of a trip that uh, friends and family took to Myrtle Beach last year to celebrate the birthday of another dear relatives. Relative, excuse me, can't talk. So anyway, I'm trying to get that trip finished and so I can like put all of my last year pictures in the book. So I'm trying to like crank out my last year pictures. So a lot of these pictures are like finishing up my 2020, um, trying to finish up 2021. I got so many pictures. I'm trying to like get them all done. So anyway, I, yeah, I was just laying here, sitting here and I'm like, I want to make something. So I, my idea, this idea popped into my head. Like I wanted to do almost a checkerboard effect with black and white because I have all of these photos and I knew I needed to have a lot of pictures in my page. So what I did is I got a plain white piece of cardstock, a plain black piece of cardstock. And I first I was just going to do black and white, but there's a lot of pinkish color in the pictures. And like this was one of the times that my best friend actually wore a skirt here cuz she's kind of a tomboy. She's she's a sweetheart. This is one of the most sweetest people you want to meet, but she don't do girly very much. So to get her in a skirt, like, this was like, yeah, we got a lot of pictures of this. So anyway, we were just like, thought we were feeling cute. We were in Myrtle Beach. Girls trip, we were feeling ourselves. So, you know, we just, we did that. We did that. So, anywho, yeah, this is us, one of the page pictures from our Myrtle Beach trip. So, the paper that I used, this pink paper, then I thought, hey, that's my pink. So, let's get some of the pink. So, the pink paper was from that same, uh... Park Lane set that I just showed. This set actually had like some oh here's that paper that was so pretty. Oh I do have another one. I am so scattered today y'all. Sorry. But look at that. Oh that's so pretty. So anyway that helped make some of those straws on the last layout. Anyway I think those pinks came from this one. May oh actually no I stand corrected. It came from this set this was a twilight from one canoe to i don't even i think i know i got this one from oh it's american crafts so i was like i know i got it from joann's or michael's well yeah it was like this page and it so it was it's two-toned i have a little piece of it left over here but the pink is two-toned so it's darker on one side lighter on the other so i use that and then this piece in the middle that's backing that sticker that came from an old uh, scrap piece of paper. Okay, so let's talk about the embellishments. So I've already talked about this paper pack that I got from 
Joann's recently. This is Die Cuts with the, be with the View. Die Cut Shapes. I love this. It's just an embellishment set. I'm going to put this aside for a second. So this is just a set of embellishments. And what I like about this is there's you can just create a theme just based off a page. And I know I've showed this before, but... Oh, they're so pretty so this is actually this there's and there's two of everything i love that too like this is what i used for this layout here to create all these flowers so all of these flowers and the leaves around here came from this page of this die cuts with the view paper pad even the little sentiment i just cut it down i cut everything i cut my squares to four by four size and then i distressed that roughed up the edges so you can see that texture on the edges there roughed up those edges and i did alternating colors black white pink okay then i cut my photos hardest thing was cutting my photos to a three by three size because i'm cutting off shoes i'm cutting off like her skirt here but i got her skirt featured there so i had to really like it was it's hard for me to cut off stuff like i cut off the bottom of my dress but it's down here so it's, it's there so you know, that's the hardest part for me is the cutting photos, but I got the important part. Like, I cut off my bun. I had to cut my bun there, but not my bun in other places, so no big deal. I had to cut it off here and here. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, anyway, I used this Glitter Sparkle Twinkle Shine because it was a girly girl moment. We're on Myrtle Beach. We're feeling cute and girly, so I got the flowers, and my best friend hates pink. So, she, when she sees this, she's going to be like, why did you... Why did you do that with all that pink? Because we were having a girly girl moment. We were feeling cute. Oh, so then this little shape here, I got uh, from another die cut set from Amazon that had girly things. So I just cut that little uh, dress form with a floral accent around it out in silver metallic cardstock. And yeah, this page came together like in no time. So this... I literally just did this last night, which is one reason I'm so sleepy, but, you know, I'm supposed to babysit that little guy. But, yeah, this came together really quick, and I thought it was really cute. So, I literally just did this last night, and this is when I probably will scrap lift again, because the process, it went really quick. Oh, then I just, just because it needed something else, I just added one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, what does it do? It gives you, you know, that triangle, so... Three little sequins, very subtle, but gave it a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so that was layout number two. So the third layout is not complete, but this one is the ugly paper layout that I'll say. So I'm going to just flip it around here. We all have had, I think my table's going wonky here, sorry. We all have had that, um, those paper packs that have that ugly paper in it. And you're like, what am I going to do with this ugly paper? It's been here forever. I'm never going to use it. There may have been one or two papers in there that you bought it for. But, you know, it's like, I ain't using this ugly thing. It's so ugly. So I was just like, I need to, I, I have all these pictures. So my original thought was thinking about this Myrtle Beach trip. Like I have tons of pictures from this Myrtle Beach trip that I just need to make page kits for. So that's one of the things I've been doing is just making, you know, base pages. But before I get into that, I'll just show you, like, this was one of the base pages that I just made. There's no pictures, but I got four, a lot of four by six pictures and a lot of three by four pictures. So like this set, this one, I combined two paper packs and just made this base page. This thing here, I just made an element that I'll use for an, on another base page. It's because I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to get those Myrtle Beach pictures. I got so many of them, I just want to get them in a book. So yeah, that was cute. I just thought that was really cute. I did this really quickly, simple. So I don't even have the pictures, but I'll have the base pages made. So my layout that I'm talking about, what brings me to this is that have this ugly ugly paper right get back to the ugly paper and i haven't really touched this ugly paper in a while and i want to use it up you know i just want to use some of this stuff i got so much stuff so i got inspired by like 
get some of the ugliest paper that you got and let's make a layout so I was looking at so here's the paper stack now it's glitter it's a glitter stack this one yeah, again is a die cut with a few and what I bought this for was a it has glitter and I'm addicted to sparkle and B I loved this paper the black paper with this remind me of like a luxury brand so I used all that up a long time ago but you know I got all of these ugly papers here that just Oh, I got some of this left. But you see, like, look at this. It's, it's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. Roof, roof. Okay. So, anyway, the ugly paper also had some floral paper in. Oh, the baby's waking up. Sorry. Waking the baby up. It had floral paper. The Argyle's really cute. I used that before, and I think I used this one on a baby layout. But. Some of them I used before, but mo but like these floral ones, it, ugh, yuck, didn't use them. So, what I went through the pack and did, I started picking out papers that coordinated well together. So, the, I did not use these two on the page, but for example, those two, ugly as they are. This one's not so bad, but this is just hideous. Hideous. But together... Look at those together. Like together, all of a sudden it's not so bad. You could, I could see a layout. I could see a layout from there, right? So, okay, so that's what I what my thought was. I started going through there. So then I have this, which is one of my favorite scrapbook magazines falling apart. I've scrap lifted several in this. This is the Scrapbooking Cards Today magazine, and this one was from spring 2020. 20? 20? I can't. The one, I think this is actually spring 2021. Yeah, I stand corrected. This is spring 2021. This was last year's. I love this. I, like, love it. I love a spring layout, y'all. I love it. Even though that Myrtle Beach trip that we took was not in spring, I'm, I'm still using it. It's so pretty. So anyway, I got inspired by a sketch that I saw in this magazine. And the sketch that I am referring to for this layout is this one. This is not even a sketch. I'm sorry. It's a it's a demo, and I guess you will, or sample page. I got inspired by this. This one is a two-page layout. And you know, it just happens to be beach coincidental. But what drew me to this, and I'm going to try to bring it up. I know it's hard to see it on here. What drew me to this layout is because there's the floral paper, the floral paper at the top. And then the bottom has this like plaid, almost gingham type of print. And then there's a third, the, those embellishments. There's another, look, these circles that have you know another floral type of butterfly in this case pattern so i got inspired by that and i wanted to scrap lift that but when i started picking out my pictures because i didn't know what pictures i'm going to use and i still don't haven't had any pictures i realized that i want this to be a one page instead of a two page so basically what i did is i took this sample here and this if i look at the stats, Hello Good Vibes. This is by Lisa Dickinson. And she used Basil Basic Cardstock, Creative Memories Punches. Font was American Typewriter, Adhesive Scrapbook, Adhesive by 3L. Very beautiful layout. Thank you, Lisa, for sh sharing that in Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. So, inspired me for this layout that I did. Okay. So, basically, I took this and like smushed it into a one page layout so using my regular papers and using that sketch i created this base page and all of a sudden that paper that was so ugly before is now beautiful like this paper i think is ugly <laughs> you know by itself is ugly it's not anything I would put on anything. 
this one oh, okay but yeah it's kind of busy but together doesn't that make such a beautiful page so i just used a lot of embellishment uh die cuts that i had this paper the in the paper that i used was actually still one of the papers it's this one right here from that stack so i used three of the papers here and i oh i think the one this is not a sticker i can take off the one <coughs> excuse me the one that is at the bottom you can't see it because the sticker thing would cover it up but this was one page the purple floral looks like they came from the 70s was one page and these little smaller the white with the little tinier flowers and these all have glitter in them so yeah i thought this is pretty oh and then i used this i think this is a martha stewart punch maybe i can't remember which brand but i had some pink glitter paper that i got from walmart and that border punch and i did the pink border so yeah i that is how i create i took a sketch this sketch and some ugly 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 paper and i shrunk I basically shrunk the sketch into one and created this page. So I thought that turned out really beautiful. And then I just add the title, Just Smile. Because I don't know which pictures this will go in. I, I initially wanted to do my Myrtle Beach pictures. Well, then I kind of thought, well, maybe... I want to do different pictures. I, I don't really, so I don't know, but I will use this for something. That's why I didn't put like the frames in here because I don't really know. Like my Myrtle Beach pictures that I would just showed you, they were too, it was too many of them on there and I didn't want to busy it up. I didn't feel like this page needs a whole lot of pictures, maybe one or two at the most. So I don't even know, but there's a base page that I have. And really, all, I don't even have to do a lot of embellishments because I've done the embellishments already. All I have to do is my mats and put my photos on, maybe do some journaling, and that page will be done. So, there you have it. That, that was three layouts that were done pretty simple. Three different techniques. The first one with mixed media and all of the frills upon it. The second one using a die cut sheet that just, I just threw together, but it turned out beautiful. And then this one, base page, which is not complete, but I used the sketch to create. So yeah, three very different pages using different techniques, but to show you how you can just sometimes just, just go do it. Hope you enjoyed watching please like and subscribe and as always have a wonderfully blessed day